This is a CBS 4 News update. And good morning to you. I'm Kendis Gibson. Wow, what a heartbreaking family tragedy out of Miami Lakes. According to Miami Dade Police, a father shot his 12 year old daughter and nine year old son and then turned the gun on himself. Now, police tell us the ex husband had picked up the kids, but then failed to return them. The mom was worried about them and went in search of her kids and sadly found all three along a canal bank. As COVID cases begin to drop, changes are coming to the mask mandate in Broward public buildings. The mayor is tweeting that uh, starting today, people will not be required to wear masks in county buildings. However, they will be strongly encouraged. The Miami Seaquarium has released a statement on the well-being of their orca Lolita after claims from PETA that she was ill. They say they discovered something wrong with Lolita, who is also called Toki, during one of her routine checkups, but that she is being cared for and is feeling better. This aquarium was a recent subject of criticism after a federal inspection found a number of serious welfare violations, including feeding Lolita spoiled fish. In its statement, however, the aquarium's attending vet says, I have the utmost confidence in the teams assembled to care for Toki and all our animals. Toki's unprecedented longevity speaks to the quality care she has received over the years. Good Wednesday morning. Grab your umbrella and a light jacket or a sweater. We're going to stay cool and rainy at times as we'll see scattered showers and highs hovering in the upper 60s. Tomorrow, even colder start with lows in the upper 50s, a high 77. Going into Friday morning, a low of 63. So temperatures will be on the rise as we head into the weekend. 79 Saturday, waking up to the upper 60s, high around 80 degrees, and a few showers will be possible on Super Bowl Sunday here, as many of you will likely be grilling out and hanging out with family and friends watching the big game by Monday morning. We have a cold front that will allow our temperatures to drop to the upper 50s for your Valentine's Day. It'll be a chilly breeze with cool sunshine throughout the day with highs in the low 70s. Kendis. OK, Lisette, thank you. That's the news for right now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune in to see CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines. And remember, we're now streaming 24 hours a day on the CBS News app at CBS News Miami. Happy Wednesday.